It's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 164 of my TV and today is going to be about the big question to ask when you work with a VA or you're about to work with a VA or PA and I don't think most people do ask this question but they will if they're going to employ someone or put a job ad out or um, yeah get someone in the business. And it stems from a conversation I had with a client a couple of weeks ago and they were telling me how they'd use different um, VAs, like independent VAs, um, and they'd use them directly and the nature by which they were using them, so like the kinds of tasks they were sending across were very, very varied from like marketing work to calling up their customers, to updating the website, trying to send out a, um, a newsletter in MailChimp. Um, it was like a real mix and also then um, trying to implement a task management system um doing their emails and diaries so like real real mix and the person was unhappy with the results that they'd had from quite a bit of the work so not all of the work but quite a bit of the work and um they'd asked them to do something on the website update it um come up with some like marketing ideas and ultimately the guy was really really unhappy with the results they'd got and i said to him did you ask first was marketing a strength of this person you know, was working with WordPress a strength of this person, and he hadn't. And ultimately, I th think most people think that when you say VA, virtual assistant, they go, okay, um, social media and marketing and email and follow-up calls and sales calls and cold calls and answering calls, and it's like all of these different things. And just like in any area or walk of life or any employee that you have, every individual person will have very specific skill sets. And so to think that one person will wear every single hat is never the case. Now, it, with my PA, we have, we have a team of PAs and they will have varying skill sets. So we're able to offer lots of different services by the fact that we've got unemployed people who their bag is sending out a MailChimp newsletter or updating a website or managing your inbox and a diary like an absolute ninja or making really friendly intelligent follow-up calls those kind of tasks will be ultimately carried out by different PAs although our clients work with a dedicated PA if the skill set is with one of their team then they'll get to do that because they'll do it better and quicker and faster and it's what they love doing and what they were born to do so to think that a individual VA is able to do everything you know that needs to happen in a business so I hate the task uh, sorry I hate the term low value tasks because every task needs to get done it's just that these you know the kind of tasks that make the business happen the cogs turn they need to get done but it's just not the best use of the business owner's time so to think that an individual person can tick all of those boxes is very very rarely the case and so the right question to ask is when you're preparing to work with a VA or PA number one what are the things you really need to get done you need to have some clarity around that for sure like that's a not you know it's a and certainly at my PA we help to work with you and unpick and tease out of you what stuff you should be handing over but if you've got an idea of what the tasks are the second thing has to be that the person or people that you're looking at to do it have the right skill set they know how to do it it's their bag and not just expecting that you can throw anything at them and they will deliver everything in exactly the same way because it is really very very rarely the case and just like you wouldn't employ you know a finance manager in your business to do the bookkeeping and accounting and do your diary and follow up the new prospects in your business you know you would expect that person to deal with the finance most often is the case with a VA they will have a set of specific skills and strengths and it's really important to just be clear about that when you start working with someone if you do want help with what you should outsource definitely get in touch I can help you with that and if you'd like to know more about all the different skill sets that we have we do have a list called focus on the fun stuff and I can whiz that out to you as well if you'd like to know the areas that are our absolute sweet spots and strengths at my PA but definitely the questions to ask is my VA got the right skills for the things that I need to get done I hope this week's episode helps you to get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds. And I will see you next week for episode 165. See you then. Bye-bye.